In this video, I'll discuss off canvas menus. So I've got some navigation here at the bottom of my screen, and this is what we'll see when we've got a large wide viewport like on a desktop computer. But if I resize this window down, we're going to reach a point, and it's 800 pixels, less than 800 pixels, when we're going to switch the screen using a media query. And what we've got now is a full screen view. I've gotten rid of that uh, sort of centered look with the uh, white space on either side. And we've got a menu button here. Now, if I click the menu button, it's going to turn on our menu. You can see we can hover over that, and we'll see it highlighted. And we can put whatever content we want in there, but I've just got a basic uh, set of navigation items. And it's a toggle, so I click it again, it turns it off, click it, and it turns on. So this is our off-screen content, and it's really not off the canvas. It doesn't sort of sit away anywhere. What we're doing is turning it on and off. Let's take a look at the code. Now, here's my menu, and the menu does double duty. It's called Menu Container, and inside it we've got some divs, and this represents our, our menu. The double duty is that in a wide screen, it's going to show us that navigation at the bottom of the screen, the way we expect it to. And then on a smaller screen, on the a viewport, say on a tablet or a smartphone, it's going to switch and it's going to show that off-canvas content stacked, like a drop-down menu. Now, the way we deal with that, the way we uh, actually turn it on and off, is up here in the media query. So, max width 800 pixels. In other words, anything less than 801 pixels, it's going to switch to this set of rules. And here's where we have our menu container, right here. And really simply, what I've done is set the display to none. Okay, so I'm turning it off, and the reason I turn it off is because when you switch that viewport down, you don't want to see the menu appear all the time. You want it to be off, and then somebody presses that button in the upper right-hand corner and turns it on. So it's all done using this. And the other thing, too, is that we're making sure our buttons are stacked on top of each other using float none for the menu buttons. And it would be float left for the regular side-by-side -side navigation we see on larger screens. And then the turning on and off function is done simply by some JavaScript where we have a click and somebody presses that button and we have the show menu and it's a toggle again so what we're doing here is checking to see whether it's on or off and if it's on then we turn it off and then we use an else statement here because if it's off we turn it back on and that's the toggle so it's a really simple way of doing it and very effective in uh, working with your navigation on smaller screens in responsive design and again it's not really sitting anywhere we're just turning it on and off so it's a bit of a misnomer to call it off canvas content but in a sense it is because it's still in the HTML and all we're doing is turning it on and off using a little simple JavaScript